Hugo, so uh, first of all, the elephant in the room. Obviously, you were gaffer duties today. Uh, Tommy didn't travel with us, did he? You think he was feeling under the weather? Yeah, he's uh, he's not uh, feeling great. He's struggling to get out of bed at the moment. He's a little bit wiped out. So uh, hopefully he'll you know he'll stay in bed for this couple of days and uh, he'll be back with us uh, for the next game. So and we wish him well and to get well soon, Tom. And uh, to get the other one out of the way, obviously Lorenzo Ledge as well, another one missing from the squad yeah, today. Yeah, listen, he's just had a knock. He picked up against his sleep. We just didn't think it was worth risking him today. Um, so we'll give him the next few days. Um, so uh, we'll assess him in the next few days and hopefully he'll be okay for Boxing Day. Anyway, back to the football. Sure. Uh, obviously, it was a very entertaining game, quite even for quite a long time. And Chesterfield, obviously, then well, they, they raced a bit ahead. Scoreline is probably a bit of an unfortunate reflection on the game, maybe. Maybe, but it's still the scoreline, you know. Um, I think, do you know what? I think the way that I'm looking at this is that you've got to remember where, how well we've done up until this point. You know, I know we've had a bump in the road this week. We knew there'd be a bump at some point, but now we've got to come off the bump, you know. Chesterfield are an excellent side, and I, I fully expect them not just to win the league, but to win it very comfortably, you know. They've got some very, very good players, way above this level. Um, we just, I just felt at times we were a little bit naive defending today uh, but it's, they've got good movement good players but my message is simple you know just remember who we are what we've done this season the players have done brilliantly they need to go and rest and recover now and get themselves ready for Boxing Day We went 1-0 up quite early on Josh Stokes getting the goal and then unfortunately conceded about a couple of minutes later do you think that maybe rocked, rocked no, I don't know. I mean if I'm completely honest with you from where I'm standing I, I could be proved wrong on this by the way but I, I thought it was such a soft free kick you know, uh, don't get me wrong. The, the old Acre who took it, a great strike, mm. great free kick, but I'm not sure. I'd have to see it again, and maybe I'm wrong. But on my initial thing, I thought it was very soft, and their bench agreed with me to be fair. So we'll see. We'll look back on it. But yeah, I, I didn't, that early in the game doesn't necessarily not confidence. It's a long way to go. You know? We weren't without our chances, though, were we? Particularly before, just before half time, a couple of chances there, and, and, and definitely in the second half. Yeah, so. Kobe spanked one, didn't he? Yeah, uh, that, that ricocheted off their fella's face, I mm. think it was. And, no, yeah, this is a good strike, but well done to the lad for getting his face in the way. But um, yeah, we had some chances in the second half. I think we had one off the line. Keepers pulled off an absolute worldie from Jack. But ultimately, uh, I think the, the game just boiled down to in the last, certainly the last 20 minutes, that they were a little bit brighter in the box than we were. But now looking ahead to Boxing Day, it's going to be a big one in front of a lot of fans there, isn't it? So, and a, and a yeah. fantastic opportunity to turn it around and, and get that confidence back up. Yeah, listen, this is the, the, the games that people want to play, whether your players or staff that you want to be involved in. Yeah, this is a great arena to come and play your football in. And now we've got two great local games, big crowds, and um, you know, we'll, we'll be ready.